All right, so now each time we drag over our character, we need to change her state now that we've set up all the door uh, triggers and state changes. So let's go ahead and just add a new trigger. We've already set up our states, right, for our character. So all we need to do now is just set up a, uh, a new trigger. Again, change the state of, in this case, it's Christy. And we want to change her to door left when she's dragged over the hotspot left. Okay, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in place. And let's go ahead and double click it real quick. And I want to change her to door right. And we will select the hot, not the hotspot reset, but the hotspot right. And there we go. All right. So pretty sure that's going to work. It's pretty much the same thing we've been doing. So let's go ahead and just continue and set her states up so that we can uh, change them back to normal or the starting state when we drag her over this middle catch all. So go ahead and just click new trigger. And again, we want to change her and this time back to normal when user, nope, when she's dragged over the hotspot reset. Click OK. And I'm going to copy this one and just paste it. And we will just change the uh, dragged over to the hotspot reset. We want to change her. Actually, there we go. Good example. This is actually doesn't need to be changed because I only have two states for her right here. So we just want to reset her and we can do that with a single trigger because it's always resetting her and we only have one drag object. So I'm actually going to delete that one. Didn't need that one. It's a standalone trigger. Now let's go ahead and preview our interaction. So quite a bit right here. We drag her over one door. There she is facing the door. Drag her back. Now she's facing us. Drag her right there. And she's looking through the door. Pretty cool, huh? So really the final step here for the most part is just to create the two new slides or slide layers where the character will go once she's dropped on either of the doors. And we'll go ahead and do that in the next lesson.